Um, you know, it's up there. Uh, thinking about yesterday, for sure, it was a hot one. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Yesterday was a tough day. Um, but I think we've been going really hard um, all the time that we're out there. You know, the main thing is uh, speed and execution. It seems like we're, we're uh, competing really well. Um, the defense has given us a tough time. We're giving the defense a tough time. So it's been good battles all throughout camp. And uh, yeah, it's up there. I think we're doing a really good job. I think we're setting ourselves up uh, really well for the season. Um, you know, in my opinion, he's he's continued to make strides. Um, you know, whether he changes the play, uh, his, getting through his reads, uh, but I think he looks really good this year. Um, same thing. Every time I see him throw one of those deep balls to AJ or Smitty, uh, the way he can throw those is is unreal. It's it's fun to see those every time. Grant's had a good camp. What have you been seeing out of him? Yeah, Grant's, uh, he's been doing his job as a tight end. He's been physical in the run game. He's been making plays in the pass game. Uh, and that's what we want to see as tight ends, you know. Uh, everybody wants to be that three-down tight end that can play every snap. And, um, you know, he's, he's pushing me to become better, uh, focus on my craft. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can, I can be on the field with him a lot in Detroit this year. Any differences in his game that you've noticed? Or? Um, I think he's just getting older, you know. Uh, when you get in the league, uh, you know, I would say the biggest thing that he's improved on is his patience in the route running. Um, you know, when you first get in the league, you just feel like you don't have that much time. You might cut your route short. You might uh, do things like that. And he's, he's done a good job of uh, making sure he gets his depth, pushing it up one more step, leaning into the defender, little things like that. Um, you know, it's like little tools that you work on. And uh, the more you play, the more they make sense, the more they come into um, you know, you can do them more, and it's like, oh, that does work. Um, so just him getting more reps, being out there more, and uh, just talking through it with him, I think he's been doing a really good job of that. In the public practice, we saw three touchdowns, two-point conversion. Do you think you'll be featured in the – you know, in the close goal line more than you were in the past two years, three years? Um, there's always that chance. You know, we got a lot of special players down there. Um, you know, if we get too close, obviously uh, Jalen with the tush push is, is tough to stop. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, any time you got a running back with the uh, aura that Saquon has, you know, the safeties are going to be looking in the backfield because if he gets the ball in his belly, uh, you know, they don't want him to have a full head of steam. They're going to be close and close. So I think that, that plays to my advantage um, with eyes of the backfield, things like that. And then, yeah, Kellen's done a good job of uh, getting me involved down there, which is always fun, and I enjoy that. Something we've obviously talked to you about a lot this past six, seven years, your skill set lends itself well to the red zone. You haven't had as many touchdowns, I imagine, as, as you want. What goes into that? Is it a function of scheme? Is it a function of situation? Obviously, there's been a lot of times you guys are down at the one-yard line. What, what's, what's behind that, would you say? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different reasons. Uh, you know, going back a couple years ago, I think I had like six or seven of them called back. Um, obviously, that takes a big hit when you have that many called back of penalties and uh, different things that way. Um, and then, you know, last year, it seemed like we weren't scoring as many points as we have in the past. So um, it's just a credit to everything that goes in in the game. You know, we got to get to the red zone. Um, we have really good, explosive playmakers that score from 40, 50 yards out when AJ has those days. And then, like I said, we have a quarterback that can run an O-line that can block really well. Um, so anytime we get inside the five, you know, if we can uh, get double teams and ride the wave with the running back, um, you just, it's a little bit safer to run the ball down there. Just things get tighter. Um, so uh, we'll just, it's, it's kind of depending on how games go and how our O-line's moving people around and uh, what we decide to do based on the strengths. Um, you know, a lot of times we have a really good red zone package where I'm heavily involved and uh, the O-line just moving people out of the way and we're like, man, why not? Hand it off and ride the wave. Uh, Nick talked about accountability a lot this morning. Are you seeing any differences in the way that's being handled or treated this year as opposed to previous years? Yeah, obviously, um, we have a lot of different ways to hold people accountable. Um, you know, every time when we watch film, we have numbers on the board um, to see who made a mistake, uh, who did a good job. You know, it's accountability both ways. Uh, you, you can show accountability by people doing their job and uh, praising them, and you can get on people when they're making mistakes. And um, I think uh, the players have been doing a really good job of also holding other players accountable. You know, you see somebody uh, reach, uh, you know, it seems like everybody on the team goes and says, you know, we don't reach. Uh, someone doesn't drag their foot. We talk about that. Um, and I think that just uh, starts from the top down. And, uh, you know, I think the coolest part is you go into a meeting and uh, if you watch film before, you can pretty much anticipate what we're going to talk about just because it's so ingrained in our heads. We'll do two more. We're going to have to be able to
Alex, you've seen uh, AJ and Devon play together the last two years. Now you're three together. Where have you seen them grow the most and what do you expect out of them this Um. I mean, that's tough. Uh, Smitty, uh, coming in as a rookie, was an excellent player, but he just continues to refine his game. Um, you know, I've never seen somebody be able to catch the ball the way he does. It seems like his over the shoulders, his ball tracking ability is just top notch. And then his route running, you know, he, he, he can stop on a dime, and uh, it's really tough for people to cover him. And that's the same with AJ, you know. Uh, he goes by always open, and uh, I definitely. Uh, you know, you believe that after you watch film and the man's always open. So uh, it's it's tough to pass that up when you're a quarterback. But uh, both of those two have been a lot of fun to be around, a lot of fun to learn off, learn off of. And I'm excited to see what they can do this year. I see the whoop band. How's your sleep? My sleep's been great. Uh, you know, they, they have us working out here really hard. So right when I get home, man, it's, it's right to sleep. And my recovery's been great. So we keep that all year.